Why were the Japanese involved in World War II? Why did the Italians use the fasci and the Germans get the blame? Why did Roman, the Romans use the eagle? The Germans, who were their muscle, used the eagle. And also, America uses the eagle, not the hawk, not the falcon, because they know they are an imposter. They are the nine. They are the council of nine. And then there's the council of five. If you get my drift. Of course, there's sixes and all these, you know, six, six, six tattoos on Satanists. These are different numbers that symbolize different satanic ideas. They are anti-numbers in the Bible, anti-sacred numerology. They are Greco-Roman perspectives that competed with natural, original, God-inspired, Afro-Asiatic perspectives in Egypt. Let's look at this, shall we? The Bible talks about warriors all the time. Do you think God would have made the argument in the Bible that Goliath was actually chosen and not David? Or the Egyptian and not Benaniah? Or the Amorites, the Hittites, or anyone else and not the Jews? No, how they proved specifically was their bloodline and through natural warfare. Natural. Not technology, not sorcery, not alchemy. Natural warfare. So when they cannot beat me by using some kind of natural spiritual energy, I am a more powerful spiritual being. Okay, this is pervasive in African culture. It is the essence of the ancient paradigm. That's why you give me OB essence, not an inferior being that I would kill. That's why I say they're inferior forms of life because they have insulted the top living grandmaster of martial arts and they cannot even beat me. You know, it's one thing if you beat me and I try to deny it, like you cowards after I've beaten you. That would be something that deserves an insult. But when I have you hiding and I'm standing in the light with a sword as a Judah king, like accept my challenge then, bitch. You want proof? Like Jesus when he turned water to wine? Like when he fed the poor? I'll give you proof, motherfucker. In the country with the most martial artists, I will show you Judah is a black fist. And when combined with Nahum and a prince, no one can stop it when he adheres to sacred morality. So you look at your little feeble you preachers and your feeble martial artists and you ask them, when we're dead and there's no Babylon system giving them a network of technology and secret societies, who has more powerful, potent, natural spiritual energy and who's going to kill the other one in the spiritual realm? Thank you.